what if we basically drove our home in all these new locations and we lived there and had all of this time to like be with each other and explore everything. You know, what if we made a more authentic life for ourselves and started seeking these happy experiences instead of just taking care of our stuff? And honestly, it was just one of the best decisions I think like we ever made. So we're the Black Wolves. My name's Meg. My name's Ben. And we are traveling the Western United States in this beautiful box. So originally, this was all totally different. Um, and honestly, we did not have a million dollars to spend on a whole setup. We wanted to buy a trailer that was used. Um, that way, we could basically put our own stamp on it and control our budget a lot better. So we ended up spending on the interior about $400 in total. And part of what that includes is new upholstery, new curtains, and honestly, a lot of paint. But I figured out that anybody can do this stuff. Like if you've never sewn, if you've never done like tiling or, you know, flooring or anything like that, like you can do this. Like it is so cool when you go to the, the store and you get everything you need and you come back and you really don't know what you're doing, but you make your attempt, you watch a bunch of videos and honestly, it usually comes out great. And then you just feel even more confident for all the other projects you're going to do. But overall, what makes it great is we were able to do this entire renovation in about three weeks. And that was just casually working on it. If we're gonna be living in it on the road 24 seven, we wanna feel comfortable in it and we wanna feel like this feels like us. So honestly, everything in here, there's like so many little things. Some of them are like things from home, but even like the colors, it like looks a lot like our house used to. That kind of cozy feel is what we were going for. And honestly, it's really made the difference. So this is our kitchen. It was very important to us because um, I'm a private chef. And so obviously cooking is really important to us. Um, it's an aspect of our life um, that we weren't willing to give up on the road. So um, one of the best pieces of advice that we got was that your camp situation um, should mirror basically the way that you already live your life. And so this is how we live our life. I'm here uh, with my really sharp knife, always looking, cutting, keeping your hands like this. Don't want to cut a finger off, but, and then Meg can sit here or on the bed and just sip on a cocktail while I prep dinner. And that's how we've lived our life for the last decade. And we didn't have to give that up. This is not a real um, hardwood uh, countertop. This is just contact paper put on, but it just looks beautiful. Same with the backsplash. And I'm taking all the credit right now, even though this was all Meg's idea. But I just love the kitchen. So the reason why we chose a, a camper trailer um, above the other options that we were investigating, because obviously we, we've never done this, so we invest, we looked at everything. Um, this uh, just mirrored like what we wanted um, and how we typically camp um, is we like to like obviously we're wandering around the country but when we get somewhere we like to like kind of make it home get to know the space and this was a perfect option because we can just pull it in you know just these beautiful spots and then you know our camper just sits there and just waits for us right we can just un unhook it and still have our truck um, to go drive around, we kind of use it as like a home base. It's huge for us not to have to like repack everything um, just to be able to leave our camp spot and go into town or go to a hike. Towing this trailer um, was something that we were both pretty skeptic about at first, um, but it couldn't be any easier. And it's not scary like I thought it would be. Um, it's, it makes all the turns right at the same angle as my truck. It's not this huge thing that I have to like worry about all these things. I can, we just pull it in, back it in. It just got easier and easier over time. And um, yeah, it's just easy. This is the master closet. As you can see, just like our life has always been, Meg gets the full master closet. 
Guess which one's mine? This spacious one right here. It's got everything I need. All right, so this uh, functions as the master and the guest bath. I'm just kidding, we don't let guests uh, come in here, but um, this has a working toilet and shower and tub. Meg has actually taken a bath there. It's really um, small, but she just loves it. This is so important for us because, um, you know, there's just several times where there's a lot of people around you and it gets kind of awkward if you have to like, you know, trek a mile to get some privacy. It's so awesome just to have this right here um, and be able to take a shower um, when you're, you know, arriving at a campsite and it's like, you know, in the mountains, like, you know, 30 degrees or below and you can take a hot shower in here. <sighs> It's amazing. We would never give this up. You know, another big uh, reason why um, this was so important to me right now is because, um, you know, I'm indigenous. I'm a citizen of the Choctaw and Chickasaw nations. And, you know, I wanted to take this opportunity uh, to really explore, you know, have the time and space to explore more aspects um, of my Native American ancestry. And, you know, I'm just amazed at, you know, the things that I'm discovering um, out here and experiencing, um, you know, the 24-7 the, the hustle culture that we're all socialized with, um, it runs deeper than just work. You know, like we, we've been amazed at like the first month on this trip, we had a difficult time relaxing. There was a corporate hangover, really. Like we, we would wake up and some days and feel like a little lost because we had no idea what to do. And then at the end of the day, sometimes we would feel like, you know, kind of kind of this burden of thinking, well, what did we accomplish today? I didn't realize that so much of our worth was tied up into what we do and what we accomplish, not who we are. And that's been something so meaningful to be out in, in nature and rediscover that that was a part of indigenous cultures from the beginning. Leisure was not something that was demonized. It's human to need a break. It's human to just sit and just be. And we've had that opportunity on this trip. You can find us on Instagram at, at blackwolfwanderers and also blackwolfwanderers.com. Thanks for watching and get out here. We'll see you out here. Cause I know if you've got a dream in your heart, and just a little bit of bravery, you can be out here doing the same thing. So yeah, we'll see you out here soon.